Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today is Friday, February 25th, and this is the NBA DFS video for today. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a quick little recap of yesterday's picks, seeing how they turned out. Talking about the injuries in play for tonight's slate, it is a nine-game slate overall, and then going over my picks for both Vandal and DraftKings for tonight's slate as well. But without further ado, we'll get into it with the recap of yesterday's picks. So we're going to start off on the DraftKings side with Rajon Rondo. $3,900, looking for 19, 20 points on him. He got 26 points, so he was a hit yesterday. Probably could have done a little bit even better, but Brandon Goodwin was pretty good off the bench as well. Then at shooting guard, we had Devin Booker. $8,800, looking for 44 points on him. He blew that out of the water with 61.25, so he was a hit. Obviously, he's going to look pretty good until Chris Paul does end up returning. Then at small forward, we went with Justice Winslow. $6,100, looking for 30, 31 points on him. He only got to 20 and a half. He ended up being a mess. He only played 22 minutes in this game as it was a blowout, so that was just kind of unfortunate. The game did actually look pretty good in favor of the Trailblazers, at least early on. They were winning pretty good, and then it just all fell apart from there. Then at power forward, we had Danilo Gallinari, $4,400, looking for 22 points out. He got to 37.75 yesterday, so a very, very good hit. And then last but not least, we had Trenton Watford at that center position. Did not end up in that starting lineup. If Drew Eubanks would have been available, maybe we could swap to him, but he still wasn't that good either. So... $3,400, looking for 17 points on him. He got to 14.75. He was a miss. He played 23 minutes, but he just really scored the ball and nothing else yesterday, so just kind of unfortunate overall there. But 3 out of 5 on the DraftKings side, some pretty good hits. Made up for some of the misses there. If you paired it with some other decent plays, you probably did pretty well on yesterday's slate. Then on the Fandle side, we had Rajon Rondo once again, $3,900. Look, for 19, 20 points on him. He got 21.9, so he was a hit. Then Devin Booker once again, $8,800 once again. We're looking for 44 points on him. He got 63, so he was a good hit on the Fandle side as well. Then we had Jalen Brown, $7,900. Looking for 39, 40 points on him. He got to 33.2. He was a miss. Only ended up playing 30 minutes in this game. It was a blowout. If he probably plays that extra five, six minutes, he probably gets to the 39 points that we were looking for out of him yesterday. Then in power forward, Trenton Wofford once again did not end up starting, $3,500. Looking for 17, 18 points on him. He got to 15.2, so he was a mess, but really just scored the ball yesterday. Didn't really do too much else. Probably not a guy that hurt you too bad overall. Then at center, we had DeAndre Aiden, $7,000, looking for 35 points on him. He only got 21.1. He was a miss. Three for five in this game. There was a blowout. He had some turnovers, too. He actually had like 19 points in the first half, so you're looking at him, and you're like, oh, that's pretty good. And then just the second half, nothing really happened after that. So kind of unfortunate for day for DeAndre Ayton overall. But still with this core, if you mixed and matched the right pieces, you still probably had a chance to do well on the Fandle side. Had a couple lineups that did break through over there as well. But with that being said, we'll get moved over into the injuries and in play for tonight's slate. So once again, it is a nine-game slate, and we do have four games tonight tipping off right at 7 o'clock. So we're going to start off with the Oklahoma City Thunder, who were without Ty Jerome, Mike Muscala, Jerome Robinson, Earl, and Kenrich Williams. Lou Dort is doubtful to play once again tonight with his shoulder injury. Shai Gilgis Alexander had his first game back last night. I wouldn't be surprised if they rest him, but we'll just have to see if they do or not. And then for the Pacers, they're without TJ McConnell, Miles Turner, TJ Warren. Chris Duarte is questionable to play tonight. And then it looks like Goga Batazzi, Malcolm Brogdon, and Isaiah Jackson, all this is probable. We'll see if they end up playing or not tonight. Then for the Houston Rockets, just use Mangaroba and John Wall out once again, so nothing really major there. For the Orlando Magic, Markel Fultz, Jonathan Isaac, and Mo Wagner are all out tonight. Looks like RJ Hampton should be back for tonight's game. Then for the San Antonio Spurs, Romeo Langford and Josh Primo both listed as questionable to play. We'll see if they play or not. Not major pieces at this point in time, but if they don't play, some other guys could potentially see some more minutes. Then for the Washington Wizards, we got Kristaps Porzingis still listed as out and Thomas Bryant listed as questionable. Obviously, if he doesn't end up playing, Daniel Gafford looks a little bit better on tonight's slate. Maybe Rui Hachimuri with a little bit of small ball at that center position as well. Then we move down to the Toronto Raptors, who have Fred Van Fleet listed as questionable. Dealing with a little bit of knee injury, I do expect that he does end up playing, but we'll just have to keep an eye out on that throughout the day. Then for the Charlotte Hornets, they're without Gordon Hayward. Nick Richards and Jalen McDaniels both listed as doubtful to play tonight, and then Cody Martin listed as probable, so he should be back at this point in time. Then we move down to the Miami Heat, who are without Markeith Morris and Victor Oladipo. So nothing too major there at this point in time. They're pretty healthy outside of those two guys. Then for the New York Knicks, Derrick Rose, this is doubtful to play, but that he's trending in the right direction. He should be back sooner rather than later. And then R.G. Barrett and Nerlens Noel, both of is questionable as well. Philadelphia 76ers are all the way healthy, which means James Harden should be out there tonight for them. Then for the Minnesota Timberwolves, just McKinley right out once again, so no changes from last night. Then for the Pelicans, Larry Nance, Zion Williamson out, so no changes there at all. For the Phoenix Suns, Frank Kaminsky, Chris Paul, Dario Saric out, and then campaign listed as doubtful, so pretty much what we saw last night as well. Then we move down to the Dallas Mavericks, who are without Tim Hardaway, Teo Penson, and then Mark Reese. Chris is listed as doubtful. Trey Burke and Reggie Bulk both listed as questionable. We'll see if they end up playing tonight or not. 
For the Utah Jazz, Jared Butler is out tonight and Rudy Gay is listed as doubtful. The Clippers are without Paul, George, Kawhi Leonard, and Norman Powell once again. Jay Preston listed as a game time decision. We'll see if he makes his return tonight or not. Obviously, he had that surgery, I believe, on his foot. Has not played yet this season. Then for the Los Angeles Lakers, they're without Avery Bradley, Anthony Davis, Kendrick Nunn. LeBron James is listed as questionable, but I do assume that he ends up playing tonight. Obviously, if he doesn't end up playing, then obviously Russell Westbrook would look like a lot better play. Carmelo Anthony looking like he should make his return tonight as well. But with that being said, that's a quick, quick little rundown on all the injuries in play for tonight's slate. We do have a few more questionable injuries as compared to last night, so I'll definitely be keeping an eye on them throughout the day, and I will be posting the updates to these injuries in the comments down below throughout the day, so definitely be sure to keep it up on that. But with that being said, we'll get moving over to DraftKings and talk about my picks over there. So we're going to start off at the point guard position. we got Luke Kennard, $4,000, looking for 20 points at him, averaging 22 on this season. He had been shooting the ball a little bit better as of late. He had a little bit of an injury, then he came back and he was fine after that. So with that being said, I currently have Luke Kennard projected for 22 points tonight, and he has a little bit of upside for more if he's shooting the ball well once again tonight. Then, obviously, the big name that we had last night was Devin Booker. His price tag went up $400. Still going to play him tonight at $9,200. Looking for 46 points. I'm currently having projected for 47, 48 points on the DraftKings side tonight. Obviously, he has a ton of upside for more, especially with Chris Paul out in the lineup, being that main ball handler. And if he's starting at point guard once again tonight, he's going to look very, very good. Then in small forward, we got Devin Vassell. You know, not the prettiest name here, but a guy that I do like playing quite a bit. $5,000, reasonable price tag for him. Looking for 25 points. Currently, I'm projected for 26 points. He's averaging 23 on the season, but he's been a little bit better since he's entered that starting lineup since the trade of Derek White. Then at power forward, we're going to go with Rui Hachimuri, $4,000, looking for 20 points. I'm got him projected for 21 points tonight. Had been playing pretty well prior to the All-Star break. There was one down game in there where he did get a little bit banged up too as well, but he came right back the next game and did pretty fine. So, so Rui Hachimuri, definitely somebody that I have a little bit of interest in tonight. Some of these picks are very tight overall, so if we do get some value that opens up throughout the day, they definitely could change as well. Then last but not least, we have Zubak at center. $5,000, looking for 25 points down, averaging about 24 and a half points on the season. Currently, I'm projected for 26 points tonight, but he does offer a little bit of upside for more if he's out there and he's playing well. But with that being said, if you go with these five players on the DraftKings side, you have $22,800 remaining, $7,600 per player. So you can definitely pay up for a stud if that's something you want to do. If you want to try a little bit more balanced approach, it's definitely viable on tonight's slate as well. Since there is nine games, there's a lot of teams, there's a lot of players, there's a lot of potential value out there. Not a lot of value that's starting off right now. but So maybe a little bit more balanced build tonight is something that's going to be more beneficial overall on the DraftKings side. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to FanDuel and talk about my picks over there as well. So we're going to start off at the point guard position. I got Cole Anthony, $6,100, looking for 31 points at him, averaging about 34 on the season. Goes against the Houston Rockets tonight. Should be a very favorable matchup for him. Once again, we saw him put up a very nice game before the All-Star break. Obviously, he was in the dunk contest. He banged up his thumb a little bit in there, so maybe that affects him. Maybe it doesn't. But as of right now, I currently am projected for about 33, 34 points. Definitely looking like a solid play at his price tag tonight. Then at Shungar, once again, we have Devin Booker, $9,000. Looking for 45 points on him. Currently, I'm projected for 46, 47 points tonight. Don't really need to say too much about him. He's going to score the ball. Probably going to get more assist opportunities without Chris Paul once again. If he starts at that point guard position once again, looking like a very, very excellent play on tonight's slate. Then at small four, we got Jimmy Butler, $8,700. Looking for 44 points on him. Averaging 42 on the season. Currently, I'm projected for 45. Offers a little bit of upside for more as well. And with that being said, too, I think tonight... For me personally, it's going to be a lot of Devin Booker, a lot of Jimmy Butler, unless we get some other value opening up elsewhere where we can pay up for some other top studs. So probably going to go with those two guys. Not quite up there at that tippy top price range, but some solid players right around that $9,000 price tag. Then at Power 4, we're going to go with Mikel Bridges, $5,600. If we see the same starting lineup as we did last night, going to be very beneficial for Mikel Bridges. Might get a couple extra shots. Might be able to do a little bit more. Might get His minutes are probably more solidified if that's the case as well. Looking for to 28 points. I'm currently I'm projected for 28, 29 points tonight. Then last but not least, at center, we got Mo Bamba, $4,500, taking a chance on a guy, kind of paying down here, looking for 22, 23 points. I'm averaging 27 on the season. He's kind of been back and forth, up and down, up and down, but could be a pretty good matchup for him against the Houston Rockets. If he's out there on the court, if he's playing well, definitely going to outperform this price tag. Currently, I'm projected for 24 points tonight, but has some upside for more as well. But with that being said, if you were these five players on the FanDuel side, you have $26,100 remaining, just over $6,500 per player. Maybe you can pay up a little bit for somebody and then find some value to pair along with it. Or you might want to take a little bit more balanced approach, which is something that has worked out rather well on the FanDuel side so far this season. But with that being said, these are my picks for both FanDuel and DraftKings for today, February 25th. 
As always, if you have any questions related to NBA DFS, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, be sure to let me know your favorite play on tonight's slate, whether it's on FanDuel or DraftKings. Could be one of my core five on either side. Could be somebody that's not in the core five as well. If you want to talk a little bit of Super Draft, always down to talk some Super Draft as well. Be sure to check out the live stream later today, 5 o'clock Central Time with JC Money Design and myself. It'll be live streamed to both our channels, so definitely be sure you're checking that out. The Super Draft Pro Contest tonight is actually the NBA main site, so that's definitely going to be the main talking point tonight for sure. Definitely be sure to check that out if you're interested in Super Draft, if you're already playing on Super Draft, or you just want to learn a little bit more about NBA DFS on Super Draft as well. And then, as always, I'll be listing all the injury updates, COVID news, and starting lineups down in the comments below, as well as my updated core about a half hour prior to lock if there are any changes at that point in time. But with that being said, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you the viewers helping you with your dfs whether it's nba dfs or nfl dfs i know nfl dfs is not going to be happening for quite some time we do have the usfl coming up might do some content with that as well so definitely be sure to check that out maybe some usfl dfs if that pops up as well and then also helping you with your fantasy football team is going to be talking some dynasty some nfl draft prospects as we move along in the off season for the nfl and then with that being said, if you are a newer current subscriber who's yet to do so, also be sure to hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily NBA DFS videos just like this. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.